let's now allow users to save drafts. Now for our form, it's not really necessary because we only have two pages, but just imagine having to fill out a form with five pages. It'll be nice to be able to stop halfway, save it as a draft and come back and finish it later. So to turn on drafts, just go to settings, submissions, and then scroll all the way down to draft settings. So by default, it's disabled, but you can turn it on for authenticated users. So logged in users or authenticated and anonymous users. So logged in and non logged in users. Let's just check authenticated and anonymous users and take note of this message. Make sure to enable the automatic purging of draft submissions. And you can do that from the section above and from the dropdown, select draft. Now you can configure web form to purge completed submissions or draft and completed submissions. But for us, we'll just leave it at draft. And then here, just enter in how many days you want the submissions to stay. I'll just enter in three, but you can add in five, you can add in one, it's up to you. And then from this checkbox, you can allow multiple drafts. So let's just check that. And then from this checkbox, automatically save as draft when paging, previewing, and when there are validation messages. Now, this is a nice backup strategy just in case you close your browser because there's nothing more annoying than getting halfway through a form and then you accidentally close your browser. So this will protect your users from that. So let's just check that. And then draft saved message and draft loaded message. You can customize the message that gets shown when a draft is saved or loaded. Let's just modify the draft saved message now. So here is one which I prepared earlier. And the first sentence is the default message. And the second sentence just tells the user that the draft submission will be deleted. So just scroll down and click on save. Now, let me just jump into another browser. And in this browser, I'm not logged in. And you can see this is the old form because there's no draft button here. But if I refresh, I will get a save draft button. So let me just enter in my first name and last name and click on save draft. And here you can see our customized draft save message. And then if I was to refresh the page, you get a message here saying that you have a pending draft. And then if you click on load your pending draft, it'll load it up here because we only have one. But remember, we check the checkbox, which allows users to have multiple drafts. So let me just go back to this form. And then if I was to enter in another draft and then hit save draft and then refresh. Now we get a link which says view your pending drafts. And then this takes us to another page with a table. Now, if you want to use a specific draft, just click on one of these links. But let's go back to this table and Let's customize this table because you can customize it. So let's jump back into the submission settings, scroll down to submission columns. And here you can add or remove the columns. Now the bold items are our actual elements and the rest of them are just properties. So let's just add first name and last name and we'll remove IP address. And then let's just scroll down and click on save. And then if we go back to our form, you can see first name, last name created. Let's add in one more column, submission title. And you get the default submission title, but let's now change this because this can be changed using tokens. So if we go back here, and let's modify the submission label because this is the submission title. Yes, the names are different, but it is the same thing. So here is a token which I prepared earlier. First one, the first one will tell us which web form the submission came from. And the second will give us the first name. Now this is the same token we used on the confirmation page and the email. Now, if we scroll all the way down and click on save, and then go back to our table, hit refresh, and now you can see that the submission title is request a callback by Ivan. So that is how you turn on and configure drafts in web form.